Hey guys, what is up? This is the Moonfrost, and today I'm going to be bringing you a bringing you a Road to Diamond with the SMG Vector K10. Not to be mistaken with KID, because the font they use is actually kind of hard to decipher whether it's a zero or a D, but I assure you it is a zero. This gun is a very good gun, but first, before I get into the stats, I wanted to Rock tell you that I'm using a new editing software that actually came with my capture card. That I actually kind of shied away from because I really liked Windows Movie Maker, but it just didn't really satisfy everything I needed. So let's just jump right into the statistics. Obviously, the name is the Vector K10. It has a average damage for the SMGs of close range 33 damage, which means you can kill um, with a potential of three hits or three shots. And for longer distances, it's 18, which could take you, oh, I don't know, seven, a lot more. Yeah. In other words, get right in their faces. To <laughs> Um, of course, it's a submachine gun, and um, as the, as for the clip size, um, it's 36 rounds in the clip. But if you have extended mags with it, it's 48 with extended mags. Oh wow, I just repeated myself. <laughs> um, it's unlocked at level 16. The ammo for single player is 36 plus 216, which means you have 36 in your clip, and then you have 216 rounds worth of ammo on your hip or whatever where you keep your ammo. Um, when you're a multiplayer, however, it is 36 rounds in your clip, and 108 um, rounds in on your side, or whatever you want to call it. The reload time, like say you shoot five bullets with it, um, it will take about 1.9 seconds. So you, let's just say two. Let's just say two. I mean, I mean. and then um, if you're like completely out of ammo, like so you shoot all 36 bullets, it will take about 2.62 seconds. When it yeah, so, um, control. when, um, it's an automatic, normally an automatic submachine gun, unless you have three, or er, select fire, as they call it, and, um, if it's on select fire, it has a two-round burst, not, because, uh, most people think it's a three-round burst, it's not, they actually changed it to two, I don't understand it, um, but I think, I think you'll understand once I get to it, anyway, so, um, the RPM, when it's fully automatic, is 937.5 rounds, which means you can shoot about a thousand rounds if you actually had that many in, about, in like over, like barely over a minute. We're losing this. However, um, with select fire, it increases rapidly. It goes up to 1250, and it ha um, 1250 RPM, which is phenomenal, if not for the fact that no one has a trigger finger or that much ammo so yeah my personal favorite is the automatic because you don't like, usually when I'm working with three round burst gun or two round burst or select fire guns that are usually automatic I usually think I, I usually think I can just hold it on the trigger and it will fly but it doesn't let me kill, kill the a bunch so um yeah as medium to low recoil so yeah those are the statistics part of this um, gun, and now I'm going to give you my personal favorites. My personal favorites of this gun, for the attachments I should say, is, I believe I'm using it right now, the silencer, which I always use, the grip, which is very good, control. even, oh, I forgot to tell you, sorry, um, AGR this is actually the most accurate submachine gun, AGR inbound. Um, surprisingly it is, um, I'm actually kind of happy, it, it, it's almost more of an assault rifle than the Peacekeeper, but, that's for another day. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, um, I like it, I use grip, because, even though it has the best accuracy, whenever you're trying to go for the longer shots, or medium, I should say, you could have more potential. And then FMJ, FMJ is a new thing for me, I never really used it, because I never really saw what it did for me. But it actually really helps. Actually, I don't know if it helps me. But I think it's like the mentality of, oh, you have something that will give you more damage. So you think you'll have more damage, and it just seems that you'll kill enemies quicker. quicker. So, um, tell me if that uh, makes sense. Tell me if that, uh, if that makes sense to you in the comments. Um, yes, that's the attachments. Let's see, what else is there? Um, oh, yes, play style. This gun is a really hard gun to determine because of its medium to sh like small medium to sometimes long range potential, and um, but it is very lightweight because because it being a submachine gun, 
So I would place it somewhere in the domination area. Because say you don't have time to run towards B or or Alpha or Bravo or Charlie, A, B, or C, if you didn't know. Um, so you can just peck them off instead of having to try to um, do a burst your, with your own finger with the MP7. Um, that's what I think. So domination would be a good one um, for the perks. Um, I actually starting to recommend with rec blah, 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 can't do this anymore. Recommend this with every gun. Um, rock lightweight and if you don't like consuming an extra perk slot, like this is what I do. I get four perks, a gun, and three attachments. And that usually works the best for me. And plus I get two wild cards for that. So, um, yeah. Um, well, guys, I'm reaching the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has been the Moonfrost. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And good day to you.